One thing I never really went over, well actually I did, I've talked about it in videos before, but I've never made like a full terminal tackle video. And I'm gonna kinda answer some of the questions that I've been asked in the comments. Um, don't wanna waste too much time, 10 minute video, and then you'll have this, and then hopefully a fishing video or two, a video I've been working on for a month, and just a bunch of other cool stuff. And if you think I dropped that, the B-roll editing that I used to do, I didn't. I'm saving it for something. Anyway, like the number one question that I get asked in the comments, in my videos, is what hook do I use for my Texas rigs? And that, like I always say, is the Gamagatsu Superline EWG. So, here's the hook. Now, you'll remember that I used to use the Gamagatsu Offset Shank Room EWG 3 out hook. It's a great hook. I like it a lot. But it would bend out all the time. So, I basically kept the same style hook and just went to a super line and found that I like it a lot better. The hook doesn't bend out and it's great for fluorocarbon and braid. Uh, these are the hooks that I use for just about all of my Texas rigs. I like this hook a lot and I would recommend it. Now the weight that I am going to use with a Texas rig, not all the time, but a lot of the time, is the Strike King Torgrade Tungsten in the quarter ounce size, okay? Yes, I will use a 3 16 Yes, I will use a 3 8 And even once in a while, a half ounce. But you will notice that in my videos, a quarter ounce is what I use the most. I don't always specify what weight I'm using or whatever, but the majority of the time, that is my Texas rig setup. Okay, so another question is, what kind of tube jigs do I use on Lake St. Clair? Again, Strike King Torgrade Tube Jig Head in the quarter ounce size. Uh, a quarter ounce is what I use all the time when I'm fishing a tube. Um, if I cannot get the tube to go down to the bottom or it's not doing what I want it to do, I will go to a 3 8 tube jig. And by the way, this 2K Gobi Profile I have used before. I do like it a lot. Yes, it is very effective. I just tend to talk about the Strike King more than I do the 2K one. So there's that. Um, moving on. Uh, replacement hooks for my square bills and liplesses. Must add. Must add started basically, I started getting them years ago. Like, friends would be like, hey, do you want a pack of these? Whatever. Sure. I tried them. I like them. And I also heard, uh, well, it says KVD on the pack, but I also did hear KVD talk about it in articles online. Um, I don't just watch videos, I also read. So, and that will help. But, what is the swivel that I use for my braid to fluorocarbon on my drop shot setup? That is a VMC rolling swivel. It is a size six. You get 10 in a pack and it is pound tested to, excuse me, it is 55 pound test for the swivel. The drop shot setup is 20 pound braid to eight pound fluorocarbon. And I'm also asked about the weights that I use for my drop shots. And if I'm using a cylinder weight, which I'm gonna use the cylinder weight in grass, I believe it's, it's an XPS, I think it's XPS tungsten one. So there's that one. And then there's also the XPS round drop shot weight. I went on Amazon and I picked up the Harmony Fishing quarter ounce drop shot weight. Except this one's tungsten, a little bit more expensive. I'm gonna be using this on Lake St. Clair in the Great Lakes. I don't know if you can see that. Put that back into the package. I need a haircut and I've been busy with work and stuff. Serious tackle for serious anglers. Now, while we are on the topic of the drop shot, um, I've tried, I can't even talk. I've tried a pre-rig drop shot, which I think is okay. Uh, I prefer a one-aught hook, 
but if you do not like tying a polymer knot and you do not like using a one-aught hook, like a one-aught owner hook, you can try the VMC spin shot. Yes, I've tried these. Yes, I noticed a little bit of a difference on that drop shot setup, but not, not enough to, uh, you know, to make a difference. Um, so there's kind of that, and then there's also a replacement treble for uh, some of the top water baits that I have, also by Mustad. Now, if you're wondering about what a mess about the line that I use for the Texas rig, the drop shot, the tube. When I'm fishing a tube, I will use eight pound, sixteen pound. Okay, but I'd say like fifteen or sixteen pound Sunline Sniper. Is going to be the line that I use the most for a tube. Why? Just because that's what I end up using. I mean, yes, you can do it on braided fluorocarbon. Yes, you can do it on eight pound test. Heck, you can throw it on whenever you want. But 16 pound test is my favorite for the tube. I will also throw a Texas rig on 16 pound test. Um, but I will go all the way up to 20 pound test for a Texas rig. Now, you're, I'm sure you're probably wondering why. Why would you use 20 pound test for a Texas rig? You're not fighting a 20 pound fish. It's not what you're fighting, it's, it's where you're fishing that bait. It's where you're flipping and pitching, flipping and pitching trees, cover, lily pads, grass, a whole bunch of stuff. And the fluorocarbon for the leader for the drop shot is Sunline Super in the eight pound test. 20 pound braid, like I said, to the swivel, to the eight pound. So anyway, I gotta get this mess cleared up and that is going to be it for me for this terminal tackle video. I just wanted to go over some of the questions that I've been asked. Yes, I do use quarter ounce a lot, um, but I also do use three eighths. I also use half ounce, three sixteens once in a while. It's just quarter ounce I feel like I have more luck with more often. So if you see like quarter ounce stuff and you're like, oh, is that all you throw? No, that's not all I throw, but I use that the most. That's what I have. I guess the best luck with, if that's what you want to call it. These are not the only baits that I'm going to use. You guys have seen me use a ton of different baits. But some of the plastics that I am going to be using a lot this year, like I told you, along with the Bandito Bug, the Rage Craw, and the Senko, and all the others that I've used over throughout the years, I will be using the Kitek Easy Shiner, like you saw in the last video for the drop shot. With squid scent and no squid scent. Also, even... Every time I talk about Guggen baits, like people talk like crap. They're like, oh, why, why, why? Okay, it's a bait. Yes, I love Strike King. But yes, I'm going to use these too. Okay. Now, another popular one is the Sungill, uh, the Sungill Brush Hog, excuse me, the Baby Brush Hog. This is one of my, one of my favorite baits for a Texas rig. And then another one too. Since we're on the topic of the Sun Gill, you will notice that Net Bait has the baby pack across in the Sun Perch. Now I'm gonna take this out and show it to you. Net bait. So put your Sun Perch next to the Sun Gill. Which one do you like better? I gotta pick the brush hog because I've had better luck with it. But anyway, that is going to be it for me for today's episode. I just wanted to go over a lot of the stuff that I talk about in the videos. Like I said, you have this video you have a video about some of the bigger baits I've ever received, fishing videos, a video about just a, a bunch of cool stuff. It's going to take me some time, but I hope you guys enjoy. And also let me know what are some of your guys' favorite weights, because I know I'm going to hear a lot about, like I said, 3 8 half ounce, 3 16 Let me know what some of your favorite weights are, Texas rigs, drop shots, tubes, weights and hooks, excuse me, and I will talk to you guys next time.